Sally YouTube and welcome back to the Not Even French channel. Today's video is all about the signs that you receive that you are indeed living with a Frenchman. <laughs> it may be true for French women as well. I'm not sure. I haven't lived with one. Let me know down below if it's the case. But certainly for French men, you'll be able to say mm-hmm to most of these things. As you guys can imagine, I'm in touch with quite a few expat women who are indeed dating or married to Frenchmen and there's nothing funnier than when we get together or we have a conversation about these random things that we've noticed about living with these Frenchmen of ours. So without further ado, let's get into the video so I can share them with you. Okay, so the first sign that you are indeed living with a Frenchman is that he hates to waste anything. It's being frugal not just with money but with electricity, with paper, with food everything and this is obviously a positive thing i'm not i'm not saying that that's a negative thing but if you accidentally leave a light on in the bathroom you'll hear about it you'll notice that he will use his scarves his socks his undies whatever it is until they're basically unwearable socks will have holes in them <laughs> like if it's still wearable you're not ready to throw it out just yet and when it comes to electricity you'd rather sit there indoors with a scarf than turn up the heater or you'd rather sit there topless and sweating in the summer rather than turning on the fan or the air conditioning unit it's just like they've got this innate ability to be very resourceful and very careful with things the second sign that you're living with a frenchman is that you find crumbs everywhere like breadcrumb trails everywhere in case you guys didn't know the french in general don't use bread plates so when you're you know cutting up the baguette and you're having some baguette beside your meal it'll just be sitting there beside you on the table and so what this means because a frenchman has to have baguette basically at every single meal that there's crumbs everywhere because they cut the baguette especially in the morning you know you know cutting up the baguette making their tati and i come out to the table and it's just covered in breadcrumbs like you would think that we just had a bunch of hamsters or something invade the house but no no it was just a frenchman and speaking of bread eating by the way this is a cheeky bonus for you you know you're living with a frenchman when they need to eat baguette with every meal including pizza so like having a piece of bread with pizza completely okay and even and i've seen this before with a burger. I'm not joking. The next sign that you may be living with a Frenchman or a French person actually, is that you'll open the fridge and it will smell like someone died in that fridge a very long time ago because the cheese that they like to consume absolutely stinks. Another way that you know that you are indeed living with a Frenchman is that it's not okay to be barefoot. If you're walking around barefoot, you're gonna catch a cold. That's it, it's like, it's like, what are you doing? You're gonna catch a cold, you know, it's not okay. And if I'm in just a light jumper and some joggers or some track pants and I'm walking around I'm like, oh, I'm a bit cold. It's like, but évidemment, tu es nu, tu es nu. You're naked, you're naked. Like if you're not wearing socks, slippers, like the big jumper and everything, you could be considered to be naked by a Frenchman and that's not okay. You've got to always make sure that you're very well covered and very warmly dressed so that you don't catch a cold. Another sign that you're living with a Frenchman is that he drinks his coffee or his hot chocolate, not from a mug, but from a bowl like this. You also know that you're living with a Frenchman when you open your fridge and you realize that half of it is stocked with jam from either his mum or his grandma. <laughs> Making homemade jam amongst French women is a very delicious thing that still exists very happily for us. And whenever you go home, you very often get sent away with pots of jam or marmalade. The problem is that we go back and visit way more often than we can get through a pot of jam and so your fridge and your pantries become like a freaking jam cellar you also know that you're living with a frenchman 
when they refuse to eat flavored yogurt okay so they like to have their yogurt very plain with no added sugar it's just like base yoga material and they'll lecture you saying you know well it's so much better to eat your yogurt like this because you don't know what they put in it otherwise and there's so much added sugar in the other ones etc etc so you get the whole spiel around why it's so much better for you to eat natural yogurt and then what they do is that they grab a big old box of sugar and they will pour it into the yogurt like you've never seen so much sugar be consumed in a yogurt i promise you or they'll grab a big chunk of jam or a big chunk of honey as if that doesn't contain sugar whatsoever <laughs> and they'll really mix it in the yogurt and you're like i'm pretty sure that you're eating way more sugar than the pre-packaged yogurts right now but i won't say anything because you seem very sure about this. And speaking of eating, there are a whole heap of rules around when you can and can't eat in France. And if you live with a French person, you're going to hear about it because there's no such thing as a late lunch. And there's definitely no such thing as an early dinner or, you know, just skipping dinner because you're not that hungry or just having, you know, just having a piece of toast for dinner or some cereal for dinner. Like that would never happen under the watch of a real French person. <laughs> so some signs to look for to know that you're really living with a French person would be like, you're eating that? Or what's the time? You're eating now? Or the ultimate, you're eating that now? And you can wave goodbye to those evenings after dinner where you tuck into some like chippies and dip or <laughs> munching on some biscuits or some sweets or something like that as you're watching TV. That's not the French way. <laughs> okay, the next sign now, this is a bit sensitive and I will not confirm or deny if that is the case for me, but a theme that we've randomly picked up on as expat women with Frenchmen is that they will sometimes sit down on the toilet to pee. Just saying it's really common and it has been mentioned several times so I don't know what's going on there but that's a bit weird that so many women have noticed that about their French partners so guys tell me can you relate do you have a French person in your life let me know down below or do you know someone who's with a French person and maybe sharing this video could be a good idea if they want to have a little bit of a laugh about it I know that when I started dating a French person I would have loved to have this kind of insight to know what my future may indeed hold. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'll love you and leave you for this video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you next video Wednesday on the Not Even French channel. A bientôt!